How's it going guys, it's Root Junkie here, and today I've got my hands on the Moto 360, this watch right here, really, really good device, uh, definitely like it. I'm gonna be uh, showing it off, kind of giving you my first impressions on it, so let's do it. First things first, let's talk about the packaging. The packaging is actually really, really nice. Um, you know, I normally don't like talking about the packaging, but I think in this aspect of it, it's pretty cool. I like the round look. It just really speaks to the uh, watch. Um, you know, very, very solid packaging. Nice information on the back right there. And you just slide it off. And I don't have my watch in here at the moment, but uh, it just it's just solid quality packaging in here. Here's my uh, initial charger, which you see I haven't even unwrapped yet. And then some manuals. And then actually my uh, dock right here is already plugged in, because I've been using it. Um, and actually, I like the dock a lot too. Um, so we'll get into all those features, but I just had to show you this packaging. I think it's very solid uh, packaging. Here is my watch right here. And um, excellent design watch, actually. Very, very nice looking, very nice looking device. You can uh, turn this thing on in two different forms. One of them is tapping the screen. The other one is, let's see if I turn it off here, you should be able to tap the button. And it also turns on both ways. And this thing has lots of cool features. Um, one of the neat features that I really like here, I'll show you. So you can see here, I've got a bunch of notifications on this device already. Um, and they do scroll and, and look very, very nice on the watch. Very, very cool. But one of the nice little features that's in here is this does have an ambient light sensor right there on the bottom. You can see why it kind of cuts everything off right there. Even, even the clock face here, I'll show you. Um, you can see a little, it's kind of cut off, see it with that little ticker going by. So the little bottom uh, section of the watch is actually an ambient light sensor, which also allows you to put your hand over it and uh, just touch it and turn it off. And it's just a feature that a lot of the watches don't have right now, so I kind of like it. Even though it cuts off your screen just a smidge, it, it does have uh, good functionality in different, you know, outside, you're outside, it brightens the screen up, all that kind of stuff for you. The other thing you're going to notice about this thing is that it doesn't have a dim mode. Um, kind of like some of the other watches that are on the market have a dim mode. Here, I'll show you one on my Gear Live when it boots up here. So here's how Samsung actually dims this. Um, here is their dim state, if you push their button on the side, there's their uh, bright screen state. And then if you push Motorola's, there's their bright screen state. And then here is their dim state, dim state's off, you can see Samsung. You can see the watch at all times, you can see the weather and the, and the time on at least this, this watch face. But on Motorola it just shuts off. Now you can enable the feature to be dimmed like this on the Motorola watch, but I really don't like it. I like it better like this. So it is in there, and but I'm sure your battery life's gonna suffer by doing that. Um, speaking of battery life, my battery life on the Moto 360 um, has lasted me all day without any issues. I've been perfectly fine and happy with the battery life on this device. Uh, basically, when I go to bed at night after a full full day, about 18 hours, um, this thing's got um, about 25% battery left, which is fine. It's perfect for me. So what my other watches basically do as well, so I'm pretty happy with it. You don't have to push the button, you don't have to touch the screen, you can actually just pick up your watch, and you can see there you go, it does turn on just by tilting it. So if it's on your wrist, it'll tilt, and the watch will come on, and then after just a little bit here, it'll dim back to nothing, to blank. Um, and I'll talk about why I like that feature. I like it because I don't like people looking at my watch constantly when I'm not looking at it, let's put it that way. So. For me, it actually makes kind of sense to do it this way. All right, so let's talk about some of these other features on here. Um, obviously, this is the silver and gray leather band model. I don't know if you can make this out, guys, but right around there, there's a secondary ring around the button, and I really, really like that secondary ring. It's gold, and it's just a very, very, very nice accent on the watch that just gives it a really nice look. If we flip it over, you can see some Motorola stuff, and you see those circles right there? Well, the very center one is like, or well, I'm not sure actually which one it is, but it's a green LED. 
and I was wearing this and I was kind of like, what is going on because my green LED keeps turning on underneath my arm. Well, it turns out this thing takes your heart rate just all day long, basically. Not all day long, but randomly throughout the day and it tracks your heartbeat throughout the day to tell you some activity specs, which is pretty cool. So I'll show you some of that in the apps as, as we get through this. There's also this little pinhole on here on the side. I'm pretty sure that is your mic pickup right there. Um, so you don't want to stick nothing in there. You'll probably mess up your microphone. So that picks up your voice commands right there. Otherwise, basically what we have right here is a um, very nice uh, little clasp. You see you got two bands here for holding down your uh, wristband right there. And then it does have a very, very long strap and very many options for sizing right there. So, very nice device. All right, so I was telling you it kind of takes your heartbeat and heart rate. So let me show you guys how it does that and how that gets tracked. It's kind of cool here. If you go into start, you can actually go to heart activity, I think is what we want, heart activity. And this is what kind of tracks you throughout the day. So you can see some information on mine um, and you can scroll over talks about five days left of how it's tracking you um, and that's all it shows in this one it's probably in the other app then so let me let me uh, go back to the other app and show you the other information maybe it's in heart rate yeah I think this is where it is so here you can take your heart rate right here by just tapping your watch and actually it's trying to do it right now but it's not on my wrist but um, I like the meter face interface for it. It's very nice. I know this has got this information in here. If I can just find which app it's in, let's try this one. So this is actually your pedometer that actually tracks your steps, um, heart rate, and some settings. So you can always easily quickly take your heart rate right there if you want to do that in the fitness application. We'll go through a couple more of these. So you can see to get to your applications on the watch, it's a little bit multiple steps so it's a kind of a frustrating there isn't a launcher on the market that's really cool but um, yeah it's only letting me see two the other day I could actually view a whole bunch of stats on it um, which was really really kind of neat on the watch now there was a notification you can see I got all these notifications there's a uh, fun notification right there talks about uh, my Moto G second gen shipping so that's very cool you'll be seeing a video on that hopefully soon weather and so on. You want to change your watch faces and this is another thing I want to show you guys. You can come in here and select all your different watch faces that you want to select. I do have some custom ones downloaded um, but like for example you know you like this one right here. Very nice looking watch faces. Motorola did a very nice job of putting in some very cool watch faces on this. Alright since we're talking about watch faces on this I gotta show you this. When you download the Moto 360 you obviously have to have Android Wear to connect but you also can download this little app right here called Connect. This is by Motorola and you can see that your watch is connected. Why do you want this app you may ask? Well the uh, personal watch faces that comes with this device are also in this application and it gets you to do some cool things with it. So let's show you how to do that. So you're just going to click on your device and it says watch faces and you're going to click on that and then you can scroll the exact same watch faces that are on your watch. So for example, here is one that I really like. I'm a digital guy, so I like the digital watch face. And then you can change the background of the watch from white to black. You can change the color on here as well, which is very, very cool. So you can see all this stuff changing. Right there, you can go to orange, yellow, pink. You have many, many, many options on here. And then all you got to do is come in here and hit update when you're done with whatever you want to change it to. I'll, I'll change it to red. We'll do update. And then you're going to see your, dot, your device just shook and tells you how to enable that watch face. You got to go back in here again and pick the right one. There you go. And it's in red. So I'll just really quickly show you again. We'll customize it. You can see it change in here. It's green. And you see it change to green. And we'll change it to yellow, update, and you see it changed to yellow. Has some very fun customization in it, which I'm really, really happy about. Also, here you go. You know, I think this is how I had to see my wellness profile. So we're going to go in here 
and we're gonna set this up. Okay, so this you have to set up with your height, your weight, your gender, your birth date, all this kind of information, and it's gonna track your wellness based on your heart rate by using that monitor, that sensor on the back that constantly checks uh, that information. Along with, it'll show you your last known GPS coordinates of the watch. So that's also in this application as well. In case you lose your watch somewhere, it'll show you the last time it connected and gave you GPS coordinates. So I do really, really like this uh, Connect app by Motorola. It does tell you basically to download it once you connect with your Android Wear application right there on your phone. All right, so as you can see here, I have the uh, Moto 360 right here in my hand. This thing does not have any uh, USB ports on it. Uh, it charges wirelessly, which is one of the beauties of this watch. So here's your little uh, wireless charger dock. Um, it's very solid feeling, kind of got some good weight to it. And it's actually even got some cool feature as you put it on the dock. So to do this, very simple, you want to charge your watch, take it off your wrist, and shabam! Um, when you put it on the dock, it automatically transitions into this um, charging graph with the circle there. It gives you the time and it gives you the percentage of the watch charge right on it. I really like the charging dock. I think the functionality of this is very nice. You can leave it on your nightstand and just let it sit there and look at the time if you're, you know, you want to set an alarm on it or something like that. You can do all that. So definitely uh, charging dock gives it a huge win for me. I'm loving it. One downside that I really see about this watch that kind of bums me, even though I love the wireless charging, I can't get it to function with fast boot. I can't do my hacking on this watch. It's very, very difficult. I can get ADB over Bluetooth, um, but you know, that's kind of hit or miss for me. And it's a real pain to pull files and do any of the modding that I like to normally do. I'm gonna try to work on that and hopefully get you some awesome videos on this device more than just a review but we'll see how that goes so there you go guys that's gonna be my little video here of the Moto 360 hope this uh, filled you in on a lot of stuff about this device I am liking it the style and finesse of this device really does uh, trump the gear live or the LG G watch you can see the G watch is kinda doesn't really have a lot of style. Gear Live a little bit more. Moto 360 I think takes the cake right there. So there you go. That is the Moto 360. I think this is a pretty solid device. I really like the aesthetics of it and the look. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think. Put some comments down in the video description down below. I'd love to communicate with you guys on this device. It is very, very cool. Please subscribe if you guys like this kind of content. I'm hopefully doing a lot more on smartwatches, Android Wear, and obviously all my other tablets and cell phones as usual. So we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out. Yeah.